Hello everyone and welcome back. As you can see I'm still in my gypsy trailer. I'm still traveling around Florida writing my book about 50 Florida wildlife hotspots. Today I would like to talk to you about selling images as stock photography and we'll do that right after this. One of the most frequent questions I get from folks who are wildlife photographers is how do you sell your images to magazines, newspapers, annual reports, and things like that. Well, some people have personal relationships established with editors and they can sell them directly. I don't do that. I'm not exactly the, the touchy-feely type of guy. I'm more of a here's my stuff if you want it, take it and buy it type of guy. So I allow stock agencies to do the touchy-feely part and I've been dealing with stock agencies now for about 12 years and in the past 12 years I've sold roughly 11,000 images and I figured it would be good to go back and take a look at what clients are buying. So I went through three of my stock agencies and I tallied up the top 24 images that clients are buying. And I tallied these up according to the number of images that were purchased, the number of times the image was purchased, not the amount of money that was made. Because of course sometimes they pay more for one particular image than they pay for another. And I just wanted to see what the most frequently selling images were in my stock portfolio. And there was honestly some surprises. There were some that were not surprises too. And so I'm going to show you these 24 images and I'll do them from number 24 down to number one. And I'll show them to you one by one and if there's something I'd like to add, I'll add a few words about each image and stuff like that. But by and large, I'm going to let the images speak for themselves. So let's get started with image number 24. Image number 24 is a pair of sandhill cranes flying over Bosque del Apache in New Mexico. Image number 23 is a North American elk photographed in Jasper, Canada. Image 22 is a coyote and quite honestly I'm a little bit surprised that this is a good selling image but I'm assuming that it is sold primarily for identification purposes like in identification guides and stuff it's a good profile image and it would go well in like identification guides I've got much better coyote images but this just happens to be the best selling coyote image I have Number 21 is a bobcat walking on some rocks. Number 22 
Number 20 is a pair of eagles. Number 19 is a badger. Number 18 is an arctic fox. And you'll notice as I go through these images that actually arctic foxes have made it in the top 24 quite a few times and I'm a little surprised by that. Next image is a studio shot of a pug with paint cams. This was a setup image that I had done for a client and they allowed me to place it up for commercial sale also. The next image is another arctic fox. The next image is a number of bald eagles and this is kind of reminiscent of an airport for me where you've got a number of planes coming in for landing. I don't know whether that's why this was purchased by any magazines, but that's what it reminded me of. This is a birch tree and just birch bark and it's a little surprising to me that this is one of my best-selling images. It has sold over a thousand times. This is another bald eagle. This is a stink bug, and I'm guessing it has sold well because of the colors and the contrast and the sharp angular lines. It goes well and provides interest, like in a magazine and whatnot. I have a funny story that goes with this. When I was in Russia, this was one of the images that was in my museum show, and the kids in Russia called this an American stink bug. It is a stink bug, it's just not called an American stink bug, but I thought it was cute that an American was showing this image at the museum and the kids that came called it American stink bug. This is a wolf, and I'm a little surprised by this image again. It's not one of my better wolf images, but it has sold the best of all of my wolf images.
This is a pica. This is a bison with the Tetons in the background. This is another Arctic fox on a snow mound. This is a bald eagle that was flying directly towards me. This was taken with like a 100 millimeter lens, and this is a full frame image. This eagle actually scraped the top of my head as it flew over. It was going after a fish that was right behind me. I was actually sitting in the water in order to photograph eagles. This is a moose. Again, up in Canada, up in Jasper, Canada. This is a sea lion in La Jolla, California. This is a mountain lion right down below Yosemite, California, in a little town called Mariposa. This is a bison with the Tetons in the background. You'll see this is very similar to the other bison image, but this particular one, the mountains are crisp and sharp, and the other one, I decided to have the mountains a little bit out of focus. Strangely, both of them have sold very well. I'm guessing they illustrate different concepts. This is another arctic fox. And this is my best selling image for publication of all time. This is sold over 3,000 times and has been published in numerous books, periodicals, magazines, and so on. This is a bald eagle flying over the bay in Homer, Alaska. So that's the 24 images that have been my best sellers over the last 11 years 
in stock photography. Hopefully this will give you an idea of what clients are buying. You'll notice that most of my images that I've sold well are mammals, and that's because mammals are my passion. I have sold some birds, especially eagles, and I guess the sandhill crane, but the thing that really sells well for me is my mammal images. Now, I have gotten better as the years have gone by, but some of the recent stuff that I've submitted for stock photography just hasn't caught up to the sales of the images that I've had on there for years and years. It just takes a while for images to catch on and for editors to be able to pick those images. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be happy to respond to them. Uh, thank you so much for joining our channel and watching these 24 images. Please consider hitting the like icon and subscribing to our channel and we will see you again in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye.